Your video sucks. It's cringy and cliche, and at the end of the day, it's just another video. Just another travel video like all of the others. I tell myself that all the time. Maybe you can relate. If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for cinematic travel videos. And I know sometimes they can be corny and over the top, but I think there's something genuinely cool about being able to take the footage that I captured with my friends and make it feel like a movie. But over time, the more travel videos I made, the more they started to make me feel unoriginal. I put this constant pressure on myself to make each one better than the last, and I started to fall out of love with making them. So when I finally got the opportunity to travel again, I knew I couldn't overthink it. And I just needed to make something for myself. So that's what this is. Just another travel video. Just another travel video. You've seen it a thousand times. Overly dramatic music with no storyline and cool transitions. Where people just take a picture and then look off into the distance for some reason. Kind of like this. You see, I make fun of these videos all the time, but the ironic part is it's because of videos like this that I fell in love with traveling in the first place. Because even if they seem cliche, these aren't just travel videos to me. These are moments in my life that I may have never captured if I wasn't trying to make a travel film. Yet recently I've become so afraid to make the same videos that I know I love making out of fear that they won't seem original enough. And then I realized how stupid of a reason that is to not make something. Because regardless of how cliche someone else might think this video is, it's something that I'll have for the rest of my life. So maybe you need to hear this. Maybe you've also been overthinking that next video. Maybe you have something in mind that you've wanted to make, but you keep talking yourself out of it. Go make it happen. Make it cliche, make it dramatic, make it however the fuck you want to make it. Because it's not just another video. It's your video. You just haven't made it yet. What do I want to say? First off, it just felt good to be outside exploring again and making this kind of stuff. I love these kind of videos, as you probably heard in the voiceover. So it was just good to make something cinematic, if you will, whatever that means. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Polar Pro. Uh, they're a dream sponsor of mine, and honestly, it couldn't have worked out better. I used their new Basecamp ultralight matte box system, which you see right here on this whole trip. I'll show some behind the scenes of us using it right now. Um, basically, the best part about this is that it's very light and small, but it still gives you the versatility to actually have a pro style matte box with all the filters, the mist filters, variable NDs. And my personal favorite were the unique anamorphic flares throughout the video. That is a filter that is a part of the matte box system. So it was really cool to just kind of be able to take that with me and with my style of more run and gun guerrilla style filmmaking, it is the absolute perfect tool. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the Basecamp map box, I'll leave a link in the description. And finally, we're almost at 100K. So it would be really rad if you checked out, made sure you're subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sweet love to that like button, drop a comment, do your thing. Uh, all of those things are appreciated and hopefully we'll hit 100K in the next couple weeks. That's crazy. Um, thank you guys and I'll see you when I see you. Boom. Pow. All right. Bye. <laughs>